Oh my goodness. Y'all, this house. Why don't you come on over here and watch me put it back together? Every week I tell myself I'm not going to let it get out of control. And yet every week something happens and it does. But that's okay. Let me help you. Watch this video. Come away with all the motivation you need to get your house ready for the new week. It's just a quick little burst so you won't be sitting on your butt for a very long time watching the video. Got some laundry to switch over. Got that clean. Um, and then I'll start another load. And then I'll be getting it going with the laundry. Over here in the kitchen, the dishwasher needs to be unloaded. I don't have to do all these dishes. Yay. The room needs to be picked up. There's just junk everywhere. It's not that bad. Hey, Rip, how you doing, buddy? How you doing, sweetheart? Good puppy. That's pretty well put together. Bathroom's not bad. Um, the big project's gonna be in my kid's room, which isn't even that bad. She's close again. And then my room isn't horrible. I've got some dirty clothes. I need to make the bed clean off the nightstands. And that's about it. And there's a shirt that needs to be put away and a water bottle thrown away. Just little things like that. So all in all, it's not that bad. Oh, and the boys broke my picture. So that's a bummer, but we will survive, won't we rip? Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. Super excited for this weekly reset because it's a quick burst. Y'all seem to enjoy these, so I am pumped to be able to film another one for you. If you're new, hello, welcome. My name is Jessie. I like to post all kinds of motherhood content on my channel, whether that is cleaning motivation, um, decorating, shopping haul, vlogs, all the good stuff. So if that's your cup of tea, hit that like button and subscribe so you can see all of my upcoming videos. I have jam packed full of motivation for you guys today. So if you have anything you need to get done, you're in the right place. I'm so glad you're here. Be sure if you're new to let me know in the comments so I can come say hi. And as always, if any of you have any prayer requests, please leave those in the comments below so that we can pray for you. As you can see, I need to do some major decluttering in my bedroom, so I will definitely be doing that in the near future. Should I film it? Would y'all be interested in seeing that? Let me know. I thought I would share something with you that really encouraged me this week. It's from my devotional um, experiencing God day by day, and it's called the condition of the heart. And I always thought that this verse was just referring to salvation, but it's Luke eight fifteen, and it says, but the seed in the good ground, these are the ones who having heard the word with an honest and good heart, hold on to it and by enduring bear fruit. I always thought that would just pertain to the moment of salvation, but this devotion gave me a whole new perspective on it, and I thought that you guys would like it too. It says, At any time, the receptiveness of your heart will determine your response to God's word. If your heart is like the trampled ground, hardened by the sin of bitterness and unforgiveness, you will be unable to accept a message from God. 
Though you hear the words of the message, you will remain unchanged. If your heart is like the shallow soil on top of a rock, you will accept God's word in your mind, but the truth will not penetrate your heart to make a difference in your actions. A heart like thorny soil is a life that is distracted by the cares of the world. The pursuit of earthly pleasures prevents God's word from taking hold and producing righteousness. The heart that is like good soil receives a word from God, applies it, and brings forth fruit in due time. This is the heart that Jesus desires in us, for the fruit will be a Christ-like life. Anytime you hear a word from God, whether through Bible reading, prayer, or worship, the way you respond will depend on how you have cultivated your heart. How do you develop a heart that is like good soil? Repent of any bitterness, anger, or unforgiveness. Meditate on God's word until it enters deep into your heart and not just your mind. Let him bring his word into reality in your life. See that you don't devote all of your energy to worldly concerns rather than to pursuing your relationship with God. The condition of your heart will vary depending on how you cultivate it. If it was receptive to a word from God yesterday, this does not guarantee it is receptive today. Daily prepare your heart for the word God has for you. I just thought I would share that because it really blessed me in realizing that every day I have to open my heart to God. I can't just say one day, you know, all right, God, I'm listening. I have to daily crucify my flesh and pursue righteousness. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And again, um, that's from my devotional experiencing God day by day. Um, If I can find it, I'll link it in the description box below if you want to check it out yourself. I could not find my broom and dustpan to save my life. Um, we did later find it in the basement. I forgot the boys took it down there to clean up a mess. So I just used my dry Swiffer thingamajig here. And then I just left the pile for later. I do get it swept up. I didn't get that film, but I promise you this pile did get thrown in the garbage. Y'all, I was so behind on dishes. I think I did four loads, and one of them I didn't even get to film. And it took me like an hour to do all these dishes. But it was very therapeutic and calming. So I did enjoy them, and it's good motivation for you guys. So if you have dishes to do, today's the day, girl. And when I say I was super behind on dishes, y'all, we didn't have anything clean. I, I went to fix breakfast. I didn't have a bowl or a plate to put my grits and bacon on. So I was like, I've got to do the dishes today. This is insane. I picked up some of my allergy pills. We have a double pack of those. This all free for mighty packs for the laundry. And then my husband wanted to try this for his. His kids work clothes are extra grimy. So he's gonna use this arm and hammer. So we're gonna give that a try. always forget something when I share my grocery hauls so I forgot we got a 24 pack of Pepsi and a 24 pack of Sprite as well.
I want to thank you guys again so much for watching today's video. I hope that you got a ton of motivation from it and are ready to tackle your new week. Let me know in the comments if you cleaned alongside with me today. And I will see you guys in the next one. Be grateful, give grace, and God bless.